what's up guys Gavin Ayala creator of Motofin and today I'm going to show you guys how to use our online custom design tool so first we're just going to head to motofincode.com we're going to hit customize give this a second customize this is available I'm using desktop but it's good to go on mobile as well just on our website so you start off you got all these pre-made designs here you can choose from we have a handful of designs they're all color changeable so for example I'm going to hit multicolor here get into this one all you got to do is tap or click on the image here and then you can hit the color let's change it let's make this more like a mint i like that boom and now i've got this face here as you can see it changed colors now let's say i want this red to be the same color as this to make the front the same i'm going to click this color once again there's a code down here by the pound sign or the hashtag i guess you could say you're going to hit copy and then i'm going to click the red one i'm going to paste it right here Boom, changes the color, looks awesome. Let's do the back, let's just do black on these. Pretty cool, you can see how the color changes. Um, 3D preview, let's go open that up. Pretty nice looking, good little design. Now that you got your colors picked out for your background, let's add some logos and numbers and everything else. I'm gonna use this logo right here as active, my buddy's gear company. Let's see here, I'm gonna resize it. It's really important to keep your artwork within these lines. These dashed lines right here are in reference to the folding points on your moto fin. And this outer line is the cut line for the wrap. So you really want to keep it in there. For instance, if you go out of the cut line with your artwork and you check it out, it's going to cut it just like that. If you go over, I'm going to make this lighter so you can see it. If you take your logo or your artwork and you kind of go over the fold marks here, it'll bend over. You can see there's a little, mm, I don't know what you call it, a little warping going on here, but that's just the 3D preview. This is only for reference. The 2D preview is where you're gonna really line up all your artwork because this is the most accurate. The 3D preview is just for reference. But we can open it up here. You can see the logo bends over that. So that's what those lines are for. So we're gonna keep that in there. I'm going to change this back to black. If you want to add your logo to the other side here and keep it the same, we're going to hit duplicate. It makes a second copy. Line it up. Flip it. Everything snaps on this website. All your uh, Everything lines up pretty nicely. We're going to move these over just a little bit. So it's in. There we go. We're going to add also... I'm going to add my number to this one. So I'm going to put 395, my dirt bike number. Choose a font. We have a lot of fonts here. I'm going to do death rattle. Put it here. Change the color to white. Line it up. Make it bigger. And just like that, I already have a nice looking custom Motofin. Pretty sweet. Not that hard. Now I'm going to show you a couple other tips and tricks. What's cool is you can upload any logo image background so let's let's start fresh let's start fresh with one we're gonna do again all of these backgrounds are color changeable so we'll go in here let's just click the blank one even the blank one you just click on the gray and you can change that to any color you want boom well let's go we'll undo that go back to the gray this time i'm going to show you you can upload a background you just hit the upload button our gallery button you can upload an image right here from your device. You can do this off your phone or your computer. I'll hit that. I'm going to get this background here. This is asking if you want to remove the background. In other words, if you have like a logo in the background, there's like a white background and an image, you can remove it in here. I would recommend removing it on your computer and uploading it so it's just the best quality, but you can also do it here. We're going to hit no remove, upload. And there it is. You can drag it around. We're going to resize it, make it bigger. And just like that, we have a custom background and our motofin. And it'll print, no problem. And you can still upload your logos, make it look exactly how you want it to look. Look at that. Let me show you guys another trick. We're gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna make this 
a lighter color so we can see. When we're doing things like numbers and whatever else you want to write or letters, I'm going to do modofin. Just to give you an example. Let's do... So we got modofin here. I'm gonna make this one a black layer. And what I'm gonna do is create a drop shadow effect on my text that'll help it stand out on your artwork. This is just a little tip that I like to show people. You take your duplicated one and you turn it whatever color you want and you just put it on top. And now you have a nice drop shadow effect on your uh, any of your text or numbers. Helps it stand out just a little bit more. And just like that, your custom Motofin is ready to go with our easy-to-use online custom design tool, only available at motofinco.com.